There is a shocking secret happening inside the world's most valuable company right now. Forget the headlines about the new iPhone or the shiny Vision Pro. The real story is darker, quieter, and it shows that Apple's legendary control is completely shattering. What happened in November was not a simple product delay. It was a calculated, silent purge. Apple quietly executed three of its most important ecosystem products, the Apple TV, the HomePod Mini, and the AirTag. They were expected to launch. The supply chain whispered about them, but they simply vanished. The reason why reveals a crisis of purpose, a catastrophic failure of execution, and a stunning strategic breakdown that could crack the very foundation of the wall garden. This is the story of how Apple's single-minded obsession with artificial intelligence has led it to abandon the small, essential devices that millions of users rely on every single day. The promises were concrete. The timing was set. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, arguably the most accurate Apple reporter on the planet, confirmed it all. We were all waiting for the refreshed Apple TV, a box that runs your entire home entertainment system. We were waiting for the next generation AirTag, a simple tracker that desperately needs vital security updates. And we were waiting for the HomePod Mini 2, the brain and voice of the smart home. None of it showed up. The November launch window came and went, replaced by nothing but a sales banner. Think about the audacity of that move. For a company that speaks through its product launches, the silence was deafening. It is a giant flashing red warning sign that something deep and fundamental has gone wrong with Apple's internal machine. They didn't even offer a press release. No simple explanation. No apology to the industry that was waiting. They just ignored the three missing pieces of their puzzle. This neglect exposes a brutal new reality inside Cupertino. There is a new, non-negotiable standard for existence in the Apple world, and it is called Apple Intelligence. If a product cannot meet the intense, non-stop processing demands of on-device AI, it is now functionally dead. This single critical requirement has become a strategic chasm, a massive technical divide that the old, abandoned products simply cannot cross. And the Apple TV is the biggest, most embarrassing casualty of this new era. The current Apple TV runs on an ancient A15 Bionic chip. It is a chip designed for basic video streaming and simple games, but it is nowhere near capable of handling the heavy lifting of modern on-device artificial intelligence. Apple Intelligence, the company's biggest software shift in a decade, requires the power of the A18 Pro chip or a similar modern generation neural engine just to process your requests on the device itself and protect your privacy. Apple realized they were trapped. They could not launch a new operating system full of revolutionary AI features in 2026 and simultaneously sell a flagship living room device that is too stupid and too weak to run any of them. The Apple TV, which should be the centerpiece of the smart home and the hub for all intelligent features, has become a strategic embarrassment. It has been treated like a forgotten accessory, a dusty box that Apple just keeps shipping because it's on the shelf, not because they care about evolving it. They update the iPhone every year like clockwork. They update the MacBooks on a predictable schedule. But the Apple TV? It has been left in limbo. And if this expected launch window is missed, we are looking at a three or four year gap between updates. That is an absurd, unacceptable timeline in modern consumer electronics. And it proves that the team responsible for this crucial product has either been starved of resources or is completely mismanaged. They cannot deliver a chip powerful enough to support the company's vision. They cannot deliver a product that integrates with the single biggest shift in Apple strategy. They have failed at the most fundamental level of execution. Next, consider the tragic, almost comical failure of the HomePod Mini. If the Apple TV is the visual center of the intelligent home, the HomePod is the voice and the ears. But what brain does this voice run on? The HomePod Mini still runs on the S5 chip. That is the same chip from the Apple Watch Series 5, a component that was already considered several years old when the speaker first launched back in 2020. This is S. Strategic shame of the highest order. The very device that listens for the user's voice, that controls the smart lights, 
that should be ready to summarize your emails and schedule your life using Apple intelligence is running on a brain that is functionally decades behind the current generation. It is a four-year-old product with no meaningful audio upgrades, no new features, and a chip that is scientifically incapable of supporting the future of Apple. All the rumors pointed to an update, an S9 or S10 chip, better computational audio, and a stronger ultra-wideband chip for proximity features. But once again, nothing materialized. The new direction for Apple is intelligence, but the HomePod Mini is now officially deaf to that intelligence, abandoned by the very company that created it. This leads us to the most brutal, critical indictment of Apple's recent strategy, the AirTag. The AirTag needed two major, non-negotiable updates, and Apple delivered neither. First, the technical update. The AirTag still uses the old U1 Ultra wideband chip. All modern iPhones now use the U2 chip, which is faster, more precise, and has significantly better range. For a tracking device, falling behind on precision is an unforgivable technical sin. But the technical failure is dwarfed by the massive ethical failure. AirTags became notorious not just for finding keys, but for being weaponized by stalkers and abusers. People quickly found ways to disable the internal speaker, suppress the alerts, and use the device to track others without their consent. Apple's response has been slow, weak, and software-focused. But the problem is fundamentally a hardware problem. They needed to redesign the internal layout to prevent the speaker from being easily ripped out. They needed a louder, more resilient alarm system. They needed to implement stronger anti-tampering measures. The delay of the AirTag 2 is proof that Apple could not or would not address this moral responsibility. They realized that releasing a slightly updated AirTag with the same security flaws would ignite a massive public relations firestorm. So rather than doing the hard, necessary work to fix the product ethically and technically, they simply hit the kill switch and pushed the whole thing into the unknown future of 2026. This is not just a strategic misstep. It is a profound failure of corporate responsibility. Now we must zoom out and look at the terrifying strategic implications of this triple failure. These three devices, Apple TV, HomePod Mini, and AirTag, are not the flagship products. They're the glue. They're the essential low-cost accessories that lock users into the entire Apple ecosystem. The Apple TV keeps your family watching content in the Apple universe. The HomePod is the entry point into the HomeKit smart home, binding you to their automation platform. The AirTag is a constant, subtle reminder that your entire life is trackable and manageable within the Find My app. They represent the halo effect, the subtle magnetic field that makes it almost impossible to leave the Apple world. But by failing to update these core components for years, Apple is telling millions of users that the halo is rusting. The ecosystem is breaking from the bottom up. The company is now operating under a chillingly narrow focus. They only care about products that generate massive immediate profit and that serve as the main platform for their new AI services. That means the iPhone, the Mac, and the ultra-expensive Vision Pro. Everything else is now a distraction, a drain on their increasingly finite pool of engineering resources. The shift is palpable. Apple is prioritizing the internal AI war over maintaining the integrity of its consumer product line. The resources, the best engineers, the top designers, they have all been pulled off these smaller projects and redirected to the central mission of building Apple intelligence. The collateral damage is what we are seeing now. Three essential products abandoned, left to die on the vine because they simply do not have the priority they once did. This neglect raises a critical question for every Apple user. If the company is willing to abandon the very products designed to keep you locked in, how committed are they to you in the long term? And finally, we arrive at the ultimate irony. The ultimate betrayal that proves Apple is in a state of quiet panic. The Google Gemini partnership. The HomePod Mini is a strategic failure because it cannot run a Apple's own cloud-based AI models are not ready yet, or they are not powerful enough to compete with rivals. So, what is the reported solution? 
Apple is finalizing a deal to pay its biggest competitor, Google, approximately $1 billion per year to use the massive Gemini AI model to power the new, revamped Siri. The HomePod is deaf to Apple's AI, and the answer is to borrow the intelligence of its rival. This is the single biggest sign of weakness and strategic confusion Apple has shown in a decade. The company built its reputation on controlling the entire stack, from the chip to the software to the hardware experience. But now, in the most critical technological shift of the 21st century, artificial intelligence. Apple is outsourcing the core intelligence of its own assistant. The HomePod Mini was supposed to be the hardware vessel for Apple's own genius. Instead, its failure to launch is being papered over by Google's superior technology. The delay of the HomePod is now not just a delay. It is a sign that the entire line might be permanently crippled or repurposed, effectively replaced by an outsourced brain. This partnership, which is separate from the long-standing search deal, shows that Apple is moving into a defensive posture. They are prioritizing capability over independence. And the price they are paying is a billion dollars and the gradual erosion of the walled garden. When you buy a HomePod Mini 2 in 2026, you will be buying a speaker that runs intelligence provided by the company Apple spends half its life trying to beat. The long-term implication is clear. The 2026 timeline is not a continuation of the previous rhythm. It is a full, desperate reboot of the ecosystem designed to bandage the massive self-inflicted wounds caused by this year's strategic purge. The breakdown is real. The crisis is visible. And the future of Apple's accessories has never been more uncertain. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon like that. In my opinion, this is the most dangerous moment for Apple since the pre-iPhone era. They are gambling everything on AI, but in doing so, they are letting the physical products that make our homes work fall apart. Waiting until 2026 is a massive risk. Let me know what you think in the comments below.